Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel for baking and for other cooking recipes. Now last time I showed you how to send make St. Patrick's Day cookies. Now for this Easter celebration I'm going to be showing you how to make the first part of the chocolate Easter cake which is ideally for Easter and something chocolatey. First of all this unsalted butter will be softened and this is 175 grams of, un of unsalted butter and 175 grams of light brown soft sugar but with the electric beaters you will clean this for you will clean the butter and sugar for 3 to 4 minutes until it is fluffy Once you've beaten in the butter and sugar together with the electric beaters and then you'll beat the eggs one at a time
this was the first of the three eggs that was beaten. Now for the second one. Now this recipe is perfect for any Easter occasion. So if you want to make this kind of recipe for any Easter party or other celebrations, you can make this it whenever you like. Now this is the final egg that will be beaten. So beat the last egg until it is beaten. Once you've beaten in the all three eggs, now you will have to beat in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And also to that, a tablespoon of whole milk. Well, if beating with the spoon isn't enough to beat all of that, just use the electric beat beaters as I showed you with the creaming stage of butter and sugar to beat all of the ingredients that you put in. So, now, you will gently beat in Four tablespoons of cocoa powder. This is one, and this is the second. The third one. And fourth and final tablespoon. And also sift 150 grams of self-raising flour. Sift all of that together before you are going to slowly beat it, them all. So if you've got lumps of cocoa powder, like I've said in the other videos from before, scrape these, these lumps until it, it, they are disappearing. So gently beat this until it is smooth.
once you've beaten it gently and all of the dry ingredients have been combined so you'll divide the batter equally into two evenly greased tins These are the chocolate cases that have been divided into two tins equally. Now you, the case will be put placed in the oven for 180 degrees C, that's 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Now you can check the skewer test to see if they, both of these cakes are done. So pause the video now. Now I'm going to show you what to do next with the icing. These are the cakes that have, been, have come out of the oven and now they are baked perfectly. And now they have been cooled with the curling back. Now for the meantime, we're going to start making the icing. So I've got 150 grams of butter. And it will be softened when you are making icing like this. So once you soften the butter, give it a bait for, for two minutes.
nearly two minutes of the butter beating is over. Now we're going to start adding his 150 grams of icing sugar. Now, beat this for another two minutes. Now this is two tablespoons of milk that will be warmed up along with the icing. Once you warm the milk up, we're going to add some half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Add two teaspoons of milk and to the final bit of the icing add three tablespoons of cocoa powder so that's it all the ingredients of this icing is it now so make this icing with the beating until it becomes like a chocolate icing <laughs> Once you mix all the ice in, now you're going to place one of the cakes and that's this one on a plate.
now to place the other curl cake on top. We're going to ice the sides and the top with the icing. Once you've finished icing the cake, now it's time to scatter the eggs on top of the cake. These are mini eggs. Let's just to celebrate the Easter tradition. This is a cake that I've done for you as an Easter recipe tutorial. Now this is the first part of the cake that I've done for you. So if you like this recipe of this cake tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button if you enjoyed it. Now I'm going to show you the second part of the chocolate Easter cake. Until then, bye.